Hi everyone. Last week we talked about segments and this week we talked about target marketing. So I just want to give you a quick breakdown of sort of like a whiteboard doodling of what segments are and then what target market is. And I think this is a great way for you to see. Um, this is something that I do in the classroom all the time and I think it's really, it just makes it easier for you to understand and like to visually see what I'm talking about in the two, in the videos over the last two weeks. So the example that I'm going to do is use holiday gas station. I'm a holiday gas station fanatic, and that's where I always go to get my gas. So I think this is easier for you to understand. We're going to break the segments down into five separate groups. So remember, the, the idea of a segment is you're, you're looking for similarities in the customers, you know, based on the buying process or the decision-making process or demographics, and you're combining all three of those together through the market research that you did earlier in the semester. And that's how you're going to be able to see who your groups are. So the first group at Holiday Gas Station are the customers that come in the morning. So we call them the AM group. Okay. The second group are the customers that come for lunch, or we call them the noon group. The third group of customers are the people that come in the afternoon or evening. So we'll just call them the PM group. The fourth group are the weekend. And they come on the weekends. And then the fifth group are the people who come just to get gas, okay? They come in there with the, the sole purpose of getting gas. So I'm going to describe each group of customers and what they are, first of all. So the AM group are the people who, you know, they probably come a couple times a week. They come in, they get their coffee. Maybe they get some kind of breakfast, maybe, maybe like a donut or a breakfast burrito or maybe even a granola bar, something that they can have on the way to work. Um, it's cheap. It's affordable. The noon group, they're, you know, they're the type of customers that, they potentially come a couple times a week. Maybe they work in that area or during the COVID times, they live in that area. They come inside. They're looking for something that's filling, it's affordable, and they can eat it in their car. So we could say like, you know, a hot dog, a burrito, maybe just a sandwich, uh, a pop or something, some kind of drink, water, whatever. But the idea is, is that they can consume it quick on the go and they can eat it in their car. The PM group, the thing is with the PM group is that you know, they're, they only come probably like once a month. It's more like they're passing by or they just need something. You know, maybe they're cooking something and they don't want to actually go to the grocery store. So they run to the gas station to buy something or they're thirsty or, you know, they just need a snack or something like that. Right. So the problem with the PM group is they only come once in a while. The weekend group is basically the same thing. Right. They're just passing by. They need, you know, a drink on the way to the game or something or they're thirsty or hungry, whatever it is. But they're not regulars. And then the last group is the gas. Um, the problem with the gas group is that they usually just pay at the pump, right? They don't go inside. COVID times or not COVID times, it doesn't make a difference. They just pay right there. Um, and I mean, you know, you can get them to, you can try to nudge them to come inside and buy something, but generally people just pay at the pump. I mean, I, we can all see this when we're there, right? And we probably do this ourselves. And so this is market segment, right? So we broke them into the different groups. The next step you want to do though, is based on your research, we want to, we want to see like, who's our target market? And the target market comes down to who do we think is the most profitable, which group do we think has the most growth, which one do we think is going to long, last long term, and are they, they accessible, meaning like can we actually convince them to stay at our store and spend money. So based on this, this simple criteria, in my mind, the best two groups are the AM group and the noon group, right? And so if we focus on the AM group and we focus on the noon group, we can design products and promotions and coupons and everything towards that group of customers, right? We know that the AM group wants coffee, so we can have a variety of different coffees. We can add, you know, we can do promotions that are for them to get them in the store and maybe buy a donut or buy, you know, maybe even like a yogurt or whatever they want, you know, something that will, that will convince them to come, right? And when they're there, they're gonna spend more money. So we know that this group of people, they're, you know, the alternative, our competitor is McDonald's or, you know, Starbucks or Caribou. It shouldn't be too hard to get them to come in. The one thing we have to remember is that they're going to consume this product on the way to work, right? And so we know that they're, they're, group, they're a big group. And the one great thing, I don't know if you want to use the word great, but the one thing is, is in, in, you know, the difficult times we have, you know, today and going forward, uh, until the economy starts to pick up is that we can give people deals and that they're, they're craving that. The noon group is similar to the AM group, right? They're going to they're gonna come in, they're going to get their lunch, right? So we can buy, you know, they're going to buy a pop or some sort of drink. Um, they're going to also get like a meal. So we have hot dogs and we could do sandwiches, maybe hamburgers or something like that. Um, but the key is it's fast, it's quick. It's an alternative to fast food, right? Uh, and going to restaurants. People don't want to go to restaurants as often. And a lot of the one thing to also to remember is that they're going to get this 
um, they're going to consume these products in their car while they're potentially driving or not. So <coughs> the target market is the AM group and the new group. The reason we don't choose the PM group and the weekend group and the gas group is because they're just not profitable, right? They don't spend a lot of money. They're not reliable. When they do come, maybe they do spend money when they're there, but they're just the keys. Like I said, they're not reliable. And so there's no reason for us to focus on that group. We want to focus on the AM and the new group and make them our target market. All right.